There are a lot of stigmas attached to learning disabilities, but what people need to realize is that people with learning disabilities are usually of average intelligence or above average intelligence. There's nothing to be ashamed of, it's just another way of learning and another way of viewing material and being able to comprehend it. The Third SMART program is focusing attention on successful transitions through advocacy, resources, and training. Here to help you from high school into college. It's a huge transition, but just knowing that we have this conference makes us more comfortable that we could do better at college. You learn a lot of things, you gain a lot of new friends, and you have so much fun. It gets your foot in the door before you even start school, so you're not, you don't feel uncomfortable on your first day. You meet new people and you can like say, oh, you're going into that program, so am I. You get to see that there's other people that are like you. At each of your tables, there is a star mentor. Mentors are people with disabilities. Like, they know what you've been through. Yeah. So they're here to help you and they can tell you through their experience. As a mentor, I found that the people who took part in the conference stated the fact that they did feel more comfortable going into college. Start meaning successful transitions, advocacy, resources, and training. To be able to advocate for yourself, you need to know what your issues are, you need to know what you need, you need to know if you need extra time, you need to be able to tell them why you need extra time, not that I just need extra time. Understand your learning disability. I tend to skip words, they, they just aren't there when I first read it, so I have to read things uh, a few times before I get the actual meaning of it. Turn the D into a B or a B into a D. All the words that I mispronounce. Black lettering on bleach white paper, my eyes just go nuts. Me, I'd sit there in class and be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hyperactivity. I'm like, I'll sometimes daydream. I have an organization problem. I can't get it on paper. I'd write completely different assignments than the teacher asked for it. <laughs> I have a really bad attention span. So if you tell me something, I can't remember it right away, but I can go away and come back and I'll remember everything you tell me. <laughs> Is this you? Coming to college, I had no idea that I had a learning disability. Yeah, I had someone actually say, but, but you're smart. I would spend hours studying and still not do well on tests. There wasn't something wrong with me, but there had to be something that I was missing. If you feel like you do have a learning disability, you should definitely go and check it out because you can get way more help. Oh, yeah, I, I could do it. I don't, I don't need help. If I were to think like that, I don't think I'd be where I am right now. It was amazing to know that, okay, finally there is something, so now I can find ways to fix it. It's okay to get help. Ask for what you need. Computers in the CSD office. Your own workspace. I use a note taker. Extra time for testing. The quiet rooms. Sometimes it's only me, sometimes there's other students in there, but it's always quiet, there's never a sound. You can concentrate to the maximum, and it really helps me channel my thoughts into writing my paper. Every student gets a hard copy of what their disability is. You gotta identify yourself to the teacher that you have an LD. They're here to teach you in any way that is necessary for you. And taking that piece of paper opens the door so that they can understand you as a student a lot better. The more explanation you can give your teacher, the more likely you're going to get the accommodations you need. So the better you know yourself, the better you can explain. If you're a student with a learning disability, there's plenty of resources here to help you. Tools you need. We use tools to help the student understand the material better. Programs that I need for my computer. Laptops. I tape record myself. I record my lectures. Basically putting all my tools in, in one device. Basic skills, airway, breathing, medications, organize all my tests and my classes. Just keep track of everything. This is, makes everything a lot easier. I get all my books on audio. I can just scan it in and it'll read it all to me. At the pace you can understand it. I don't even read the words. <laughs> I just hear them. There is so much that the, just one program can do for you. These tools can get you through your classes. People who help. Approachable staff, uh, very friendly, love to get into your personal life. 
The counselors are wonderful because it is stressful having a learning disability and it does take its toll sometimes. I can do homework with them. They help me with things like this so I can get my thoughts on that stutter. I'm the disability counselor and I am the first point of contact for uh, all students with disabilities. If it's a student with a learning disability, what I may do is refer that student on to the learning strategist. They identify the problems that you have with your learning disability. She helps me with memory techniques. How to study, how to prepare for tests. They teach you to go around roadblocks rather than uh, just keep plowing through them. Instead of telling you what you should do, they actually give you ideas. It's a good idea, I think I'll try. Cool. Whether you're an audio learner, a visual learner, hands-on learner, they help you figure out all the things that you need in order to be successful. Some students I work with time management, organizational skills. I have a big uh, whiteboard calendar on top of my desk. I use colors to highlight all my notes and to keep myself organized. Whatever their needs are, it's very student-centered. You get one-on-one -on -one help. Yeah, I have a, a tutor and she keeps me on task and my marks have gone up with her helping me. And as a result of your marks going up, your confidence definitely goes up with it. I went from a C student easy to an A student. I'm getting all A's and I feel fully confident that I'll be able to choose a career of my choice when I'm done my studies. Strategies that work. One of my philosophies is I'd rather have five A's than seven B's. Don't let it bother you if you decide to take less courses. If it's a two-year program that you're in and you take four years, it doesn't matter because you're still going to get there. You're just not going to get there with everyone else. Study in study groups, but study with students who have LDs and who don't. Each different person, the way they talk or explain something, that might stick out in your memory when you're writing your test at a later date. You might be like, oh yeah, I totally remember how he explained that. Doodling. I like to draw little characters at the side. I just go over my notes and I have a special way that I write them. I read out loud and that's best for me. I can sometimes teach it to somebody, even if it's my dog, which sounds ridiculous, but it really helps. <laughs> She seems to like the attention. <laughs> I've taped myself. What happened to me was like I was sleeping and I was saying the words at the same time. Do you find it hard to sleep while you're listening to it? Yeah, but I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> <laughs> As well, we have assistive technologists that help you with specific programs that you might need. They'll go into detail with you until you understand what that program will do for you. And they will further help you find the financing for it. We use speech to text assistive technology. I can tell my computer exactly what I want to write and it puts it on the screen for me and I can edit it from there. Demonstration of assistive technology to overcome my writing difficulty. Read that. Demonstration of assistive technology to overcome my writing difficulty. It just reads back to you to help you pick up the mistakes that you have you have written. This is one more way they can proofread their work. A counselor, coordinator, learning assistant, technologist, tutor, instructor, they're all there on your team just like you are. So they're all there for you. I think it's a great program. I wish it was around when I started. If I had a start conference before I started, I'd be able to get all the help I needed from the beginning. If we didn't have help in college, none of us would come. I think we would have just finish with high school. Just overall made me feel a lot better and school hasn't been a pleasant thing instead of something that could have been really unpleasant and nerve-wracking. Well, you need everything past high school to do what you need to do to achieve in the world today. So you can't stop and you can't let anybody else stop you. If I have a problem, I'm going to solve it and I'm going to do better. I've always looked at my disability as a, a hindrance, something that holds me back, something to be ashamed of. It's something that I, I've always had to work at. Now that I've dealt with the people here in the college, I don't feel that way anymore. You shouldn't be afraid of something just because it's different. Um, because something is a challenge, it usually means that it's more rewarding in the end. You just need to be the one to say, yep, yeah, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for the challenge, I'm going to face it and head on. The start program was really helpful. It was three days of fun. They put us up in residence, did a lot of activities, learning how to cope with school, how to handle homework, essays, tests. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Any of you coming here? 
this is the place to go, man. Seriously. Because we're the new faces of Centennial. <laughs> <laughs> So you just heard from other students about how important a successful transition is and about all of the opportunities available at Centennial to ensure your success. Now it's up to you. Come and join us. Come and meet with counselors in our Center for Students with Disabilities and learn just how successful you can be. I'd be thrilled to welcome you to Centennial and even more proud to shake your hand as you cross the stage at Convocation. Thanks, Mark. Always. <laughs>